Welcome to this tutorial where we will set up authentication in a Django project using the popular package all of and also create a few templates for it. This is all pretty standard so I will go over pretty quickly. So let's start with installing Django all of. Go into our virtual environment and install Django There we are. Let's put it in our requirements. And let's go to our settings to do what to our settings to do what all auth is telling us. Where are our settings? Here they are. Settings, base settings. And let's see what Django, what all auth is telling us to do. First of all, we have to check whether the process the context processors request is there. Let's check. Context processors are here and debug request or request is here. So that's fine. Authentication backends, they are not in our settings. So we have to copy these and put them in our settings file. Like this. And next thing is going to be the install apps where we have to put auth messages and sites. Let's see what we have. Install apps, we have auth messages but not sites, so we need sites. Let's copy this and put it here. There is sites and then we need these three, copy them as well and put them right behind here. This is okay. Next is a site ID. Copy that, put it at the end. And then we need to go to our urls.py where we have to copy this and put that in. Well, I'm going to put a modern version of that. urls.py is here. And I'm going to use the path to that and then I have to import that from django.urls import path. Yeah, it's basically the same, but path is a bit, looks a bit nicer. That's all with respect to the installation. We will um, do all the social accounts in a um, follow-up tutorial. Now we'll just migrate the database. and run the server. Okay, let's go over to our site. It's still there, yes. And the nice thing about all auth is that it already has a lot of packages and templates installed. So a lot of functionality is already working. Like for example, let's go to the login page. Now we already have a login template which comes out of the box. Um, then let's try to log in as the super user that we created in a previous tutorial with a password and see how that works. Well, it looks like it didn't work, but if you look carefully, then you see that we are being re redirected to the URL accounts slash profile. And that is because all of relies on login view of Django and Django is redirecting us to this accounts slash profile. You can read more about that in the written tutorial. So actually it did work and we can show that by going to the logout page and you can see that we are offered the possibility to log out. So there we are back to our home page again. What we will do now is take some of the templates of all of and make them a little bit nicer. First, let's go to all of on GitHub 
here it is and all the files are obviously in here so you can see that for example we have all the templates here if we go to account then we have the well, all the templates login logout sign up password reset etc let's go to the logout template and copy this and bring it over to our site. We are going to create these templates in a template directory according to the structure that Django very often uses, which is um, create a subdirectory templates. Well, that is already there because we have created it last time. And in here we have the user auth and in here we are going to create a subdirectory which is called account because that is where all auth expects the templates to be. Well, actually, we can create the file directly. So let's do that. File account slash logout.html and put the file contents in here. Here we are. And now we can see if Django is picking up this template. Let's, for example, put here an extra word in it. Are you absolutely sure? and see if the server is already running. So let's see if Django is picking that up. Let's go to the login, login again. And again, this profile page. So let's go to the logout. And you can see that Django has picked up our template. template. So that gives us the Free, free way to uh, change everything that we want, basically. And that's what we're going to do. We will use a bootstrap format for that. So let's go to bootstrap and copy the CSS link and put it into our base.html file, which is in our home, I think. No, it's not. It's in our project. Templates, yes, there it is, base.html, and it should be, let's see, before all other style sheets. So that should be, here are the style sheets, and here, then it should be before here. This should be fine, yes, indented. Same for the JavaScript, we copy that as well, and that should go again before the other JavaScript at the end of the file. Here is the JavaScript, paste it in, indent it. This should not be indented. Okay, and this should be fine. We're going to use a card format which um, Bootstrap is offering. So if you look at um, the Bootstrap, then they have lots of templates and you can look around to see what you like. I've chosen a card format, which I'm going to put in as a base format for all the templates. I'll just paste it in and show you how it looks like. And we're going to put it in templates right over here, account, and it should be there. So paste it in, base card. Let's explain this a little bit. Um, we extend from base.html, that's the file that we just used to add Bootstrap to. And then we have the block content, which is in that base.html. So we can fill it up with this. And basically what we do is we have a container with a row and a column, and the column is going to adapt to the viewport. So for larger viewports, you're going to make it relatively smaller. And for smaller viewports, you're going to make it relatively larger. Then we have three sections, card header, card body, card footer, and these blocks we can fill at our will. With the help of this, I'm going to change the um, login.html, logout.html format just a little bit to uh, rearrange all the elements in here. I'll just uh, paste in the new content and show you how it is constructed. Basically, we take all the elements like the form and we put it in different places. Okay, what we've done is we still have the title, um, then we have a card header, um, which uh, has the title and which is shown on the page. This is for the head, which is not going to be displayed on the page. 
Then we have the card body, which is the second element of our base card format, as you might remember. And we're, there we basically copied all the text. And then there's still the post form, which allows us to log out with the account logout URL, which is from all of. We've changed the button a little bit to make it a bit nicer and uh, then we can still sign out. And if we want to stay logged in, then we have added a button which will return us to the home page. Let's so we see how it looks like. Um, we're still logged in. So if we refresh this, then you can see that this is already much nicer. So we can log out using this button and we're back to our home page. Well, you can see that here the egg, which is dancing around, has disappeared. And this is because of a clash with Wagtail, as I uh, found out, clash between Wagtail and Bootstrap. So let's take that out because, um, well, just leave, keep, the, keep the egg around a little bit for a little bit longer. Um, where is it? I think it is here in Home and then in Templates, and it's in the Wagtail Welcome page format because here we have a class figure, and that is the one that is causing the trouble with Bootstrap. So if we take this out and refresh it, then here's the egg again. Now to this missing profile page. Um, we're going to create that. Um, let's close all this up. And then in user auth, we need a urls.py file. So we're going to create that urls.py. And in there, we're going to paste a URL pattern which is profile, which is the one that we want, with a profile view that we're going to create in a minute and we're going to name it account profile. So let's import that view already um, from views, which we are going to fill in, uh, in, a, in a second. And then we also need to import path. So let's do that as well. Now over to our views and let's put this profile view in. Here it is, define profile view, which just returns the profile.html file, um, which we haven't created yet, and that is going to be our next job. So to our templates and to our accounts and create a file profile.html. .html. I've prepared that before, so I'll just paste the content in and show you what is in there. It's not very difficult. So here's the content. Um, it extends this same base card.html that we've made before. It loads i18n. This is something that maybe I should explain. Uh, you might have seen that before with logout.html as well. Um, all of is very consistently using trans for translating all the strings that are in here. And we are going to continue doing that as well. So everywhere where we have uh, human readable strings like profile and first name etc then we're going to use these this trans template tag which is part of the i18n library which allows us later on to translate these strings but that is for a another tutorial here is the title which is in the head then we have the card header with the title on the page account profile and here is the card body the second part of the template as you might remember with again a container with one row in this case with two columns and one is going to contain the first name the second one is going to contain the last name from the user which is in the request parameter we take request.user.first name and then we put a slash um, um, horizontal a vertical bar default because um, this is the filter default which means that if the name has not been filled in then we put an empty string here because otherwise Django would put none there, which is not very nice to look at. Obviously, we're going to put much more information about the user later on. But for now, we just want to see how it's working and how it looks like. Let's go to the server while well, it's still running. So let's log in again and use the parameters that we always use. sign in and it can't find it well this time it's a real error because we did something wrong oh yeah we forgot to tell the project url file that we have a new urls file so this is what we have to do go to the project urls file 
and add a path to these URLs that we have in our user auth um, app. Well, we're going to copy this and use accounts as well. And here we're going to add our own app, which we have called user auth. So now it should be better. Let's try. Oh, it takes some time. Reload. There it is. We have our account profile with the first name and the last name. Let's see if we filled something in here. Let's head over to our admin and go to settings, users, super user, first name. Let's put here Paul and display name Paul and save this. We have a new parameters now so let's see if we can go back to our accounts login it will redirect and there we have our first and last name now the last thing we'll do is to go to our models and in the custom user model we will add a, a get absolute URL method which will redirect to the account profile page there it is um, get absolute URL and return the reverse of the account profile which means that after we have made created a new custom user it will return to the account profile page of that user we still have to import reverse because it doesn't recognize that so let's put that in here these are the basics to set up all of next time in next tutorial we are going to um, create sign up and um, lots of other things uh, it will fill up a couple of tutorials because all of is a very rich package see you next time hope you view the next tutorial